and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this really affordable festival look using products that you already probably have at home or that you can buy at any sort of drugstore or craft store to get this look. I'm inspired by Holly Boone and her video of her festival look that I just had to recreate mine. So this is my version. Hope you guys really enjoy this video and if you want to know how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Already done one eye off camera just so this tutorial isn't going to be miles too long and we can jump straight in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my NYX Tame and Frame on my brows. Our price line is $12.95 if you are buying it at full price. My idea for this was to film in a few days after the weekend. And then I watched Holly Boone's video and it just made me so obsessed. And I was like, I need to film right now. Right now. For my eyes are going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. And this one is also $15.95. These are all in Australian dollars, so. You might need to just uh, convert the rate to figure out what it is. <laughs> I'm just using a flat brush. I'm going in with the shade Lost and Found and this is by Colourpop and these in Australian dollars work out to be roughly around six. I'm just going to use that in my inner crease or on my crease. I'm just going straight in over that concealer and first I'm going to just pat it on. Going with the Morphe M332. Absolutely love these ColourPop shades. They're so pigmented, so creamy. And they're such a good price. So once I've really patted that on, I'm just gonna slowly buff that out. The I'm going in with is by Colourpop again. This is 143. It's a pretty purple. And I'm just going back in with my Morphe brush again. And I'm just going to be putting that over the top of the blue. And then it's going to give us a beautiful purple shade. That's what I love about mixing colours. Oh my gosh. It's like art in itself. Then I'm going in with my Anastasia A10 brush. And I just really like to just fluff that out, blend them together. And again, you can just lay that color straight down. Then I'm just going to go in the purple. Then to cut my crease, I'm going back in with that Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm just going to put a bit in the middle and look up. So I can see where it folds. And I just like 
like to just slowly pat it around. This is like one of those slow and steady. I really like this concealer because it always feels sticky where I can pull like my skin out with it. in with my Morphe M149. It's just a really small brush. I like to pick up that same purple shade that we just used. I'm going to apply that on my inner corner. Color on my lid. I'm going in with this beautiful blue color. This is called Ocean Blue and this is by Cosmetics by Gabby. These are so pigmented. I'll give you guys a quick swatch. As you guys can see, that is just insane. Insane in the membrane. Ah, oh, loving it. So I'm going to be using that on my lid. Again, I'm just using that small Morphe brush. You guys, seriously, oh my god. So I'm just putting that all over the middle and bringing it right up in that crease. Don't worry too much if it fades uh, up where the crease is because we're going to be adding glitter there anyway. Always waters here. And like ruins the one side. So I'm just going to fluff that out using this brush. Hopefully, I don't bloody ruin it. So I'm going in with my Too Faced glitter glue. This is the only glitter glue that I have. Um, from memory, it's around $28, but you can get other ones. You can get a NYX one, uh, which is a lot cheaper, but I cannot for the life of me get my hands on it. Every time I go to the shop, they're out of stock. So I had to buy this one, but there are more affordable ones out there that you could use. Um, if you're doing it not on your eye and you're doing it down here more, then you could use like lash glue. That's what I used to do, like a clear lash glue if you're doing it sort of on your face. Um, on your eyes, probably not so much, just because I find that um, the way it dries, it creases and then it like sort of sticks your, you know, your lid together, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't be using that, but if you can't get your hands on a glitter glue, use a lash glue, but just don't use it around the eye area, just to be safe. So I'm just going in with a dot, as you guys can see. I'm just going in, it's just a real technique brush, it's just really flat. So I'm just going to just be putting that in the middle where that blue is. So for the glitter that is on my eyes, I'm going in with the Violet Voss glitter. This is in the shade Elsa. Um, I got this from Beauty Bay from memory, it was around $10. Um, you can obviously get a cheaper alternative, um, but this one for me is just perfect for the look that I want right now, so I'm going to use that one. Again, I'm just using the same brush. Honestly, these will last you a lifetime. I wouldn't know anybody that goes through a whole pot of glitter unless you drop it. Like. 
really I just feel like that's all it is. I literally just feel like you go through the whole pot because you drop it. That's what it is. That's what I'm saying it is. So then I'm just going to press that onto the blue. And you guys can see it's so pretty. I feel like in my whole life I've never been through a whole pot of glitter before. Like, never. I've even mixed this glitter with hair gel and that's how I get like glitter hair gel for your hair. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. It is so funny. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go in with my lashes. So the lashes that I'm using today are just ones from eBay. They're really affordable, so you guys um, can grab them. I use the ones that come like this. You can choose the different packaging. So I'm pretty sure if you type in false lashes on eBay, you will find these. These are like the first ones that come up. And they were so cheap. They were like $1.50 or something. And I get, uh, they get five pairs. Five pairs for like $1.50. Insane. But these are so good. I really, really like these ones. Obviously, if you're wanting something a bit more full on, you can look for something like that. But these are perfect for me. So I'm going to give these a go. I always cut one shorter than what I meant to. This is why I'm happy they're only a dollar. <laughs> because I just cut one and it's too short. <laughs> oh. Okay, try again. <laughs> oh, you can't be doing that with expensive lashes. I feel like I've done my eyes so many times I know like the length. But I always stuff it up and I always just guess on the second one like an idiot. <laughs> and then I cut it too short. All right, there we go. There we have it. And as always, it wouldn't be my YouTube channel without going in with the Ardell Lush Glue. Um, I'm yet to find any other glue, so this is my go-to. Um, I go through a bottle of this all the time because I squeeze it out and it goes everywhere. So please make the black in like a wand with the spoolie because I'm terrible. I squeeze it out and I waste half the tube. So that is my only criticism <laughs> on this glue. Other than that, it is amazing and it stays on and I love it. So why I am waiting for my lashes to dry is what they look like. with my face I've already done this bit under here just so I could do that for you guys so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my NYX photo loving primer this is one of my favorites I love the green because it um, color corrects my redness that I have so that is my fave so this one is uh, 1995 obviously there are cheaper primers out there but this is one that I already had so it saved me from buying another and I'm just going to squeeze with this you can just put this in the spots that are red and then do the rest but you know the a damp sponge I won't guess call this a beauty blender it is but it's by Chi Chi which I love. So again, you can use these. I get, um, I think they're $6 for one, or you can get like a pack for 20 or something of like five or four, no, four in a pack. But oh my God, girls, boys, anyone watching, you guys, you need to wet your sponge. It is so funny being a makeup artist and everyone is just moan. Move. Everyone is mind blown when I tell them you need to wet your sponge. It will not work if you do not wet it. So that is my number one tip for the day. Wet your sponges. 
Going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is in the shade 120. I am just getting it out with one of the ends of my brushes. <laughs> in with my Australia's Fresh and Flawless Powder Powder Powder. This is in the shade Nude. These ones are around like $15. Absolutely love these powders. They are my all-time fave. So this is my real techniques just to go across my small forehead, which is literally tiny. And then just down my face. I feel like we're not having any more festivals here in Australia because it's now like autumn coming into winter, I guess. So we're kind of done. But then there's so many um, other festivals around the world. So like Coachella and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, I really got to do a festival look. But for me, like this is stuff that I usually do because I love glitter. I love bright colors. I love all of that stuff. So I usually try to do that. But sometimes I just try to change it up on and just not do so much bright things just because I know some of you guys probably don't want all of that. So, super excited. My inner... My inner festival babe is totally coming out. in with the NYX Baked Blush because we all need some blush. Oh, my bloody eyelash. Oh my god, I've grabbed the wrong one. Oh god. Ah, I'm failing. Failing. <laughs> Okay, so we're going back to try to do the eyelash for a third time. God, this is not working out well. How embarrassing. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go in Muscle Beach. And this is also by Colourpop. This is such a good colour. <laughs> The Anastasia one just to really blend that in. You can always pick up a bit more if you want. Actually, the camera, the colour on the camera does not do this justice. This is insane. So then I'm going back in with the glitter glue and I'm going back in with the same. Um, Violet Blush shade that I did for the top for the bottom. I squirt this on the back of this because I just know I'll probably try to squirt it out and squirt myself in the eye with glue. So I'm just pressing that down. I'm going in with the Australia's Baywatch Mascara. This is the $15.95. I have one really curly lush down here and it drives me insane every time. I'm go in with is my NYX Jumbo liner pencil. Uh, this one from memory is around $10. It's white. I love this color. Like, white. Who doesn't love white? But, you know, I love doing it on my inner eyes. Oh, my 
lips, I'm going in with the ColourPop Lip Liner in BFF. These are around $6 Australian. Just one, two. Going in with the NYX Laundry. This is in the shade Baby Doll. $14.95. I seriously love NYX products. So affordable and amazing. Then I'm going in with the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Tresslicious. Don't know how to say that. And it is $12.95. I never ever do a gloss. The times are changing. The times are changing in with this amazing highlighter this is by cosmetics by gabby i'm not sure what the name because it has come off Hey guys, so I decided to go back in to add some more glitter. So I'm going in with my Festival Face Chunky Glitter. is the end result i am loving it it's a pity that i now have to take it all off and go to bed but if you guys did like this video then don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video